What's going on guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today I am here with JD, Mr. PB Fit himself, Mr. Hydra 2023 Chicago NXL. And we're talking some new products, my man. What do we got? Okay, so everybody pretty much knows about my Hydra Blacks, you know, cut resistant, uh, compression fit, really good, stay in place, put them on, forget about it, play all day, go kick some ass, don't get hurt. Solid neoprene bag, full compression all the way around. What we have realized is that People with smaller legs tend to have a little bit of an issue with rashing behind the back of the leg. Sometimes it's caused by washing them like this when they really should flip them inside out so that all the sweat and grime gets cleaned off the inside, not just do it. Because then it's it literally your washing machine will do everything for you. Because when you throw them in the washing machine like that, it cleans the outside, looks great. But inside, generally you could go, oh, if they still stink, they're not <laughs> clean. But that being said, we've got players that, uh, like Jonathan Chavez on Paintball Fit. So from the get go, I've been cutting his because he immediately will get rashes within an hour because of the thinner, smaller legs. Yeah. You yeah. know, uh, it bunches up right there. And, and then if it bunches like that, it's rubbing. And it causes, you know, reddish, bad irritation. You're playing a long event two days in a row. Then you get cha you're chafed. You're chafed. All, yeah. It's just not a good thing. So. What'd you do now? What we did with the 2.0s, these, these are not a replacement of our blacks. We're obviously still ca carrying our blacks. This is our 2.0 with the cutouts on the back. So it's really, really awesome. Um, it's just enough that when it's on there, you have full range of motion. You have a whole lot less in the, in the back of the leg. Yep. No chafing whatsoever. I've been doing this for two years now for Jonathan, and we just now released it. Couple of things to think about is when you're putting them on, so when you when you slide it in, your, your heel doesn't get hung there. You kind of got to go a little bit sideways and come on, or some people will fold it over and pull it on. But there's a little trick to putting them on, and me personally, I just put them sideways, slide them up, and they're in place. And now you can wear them all day long. The back of your legs stay nice and And there's breathability skin. there too, obviously. Let some airflow in there. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. 100%. So fantastic new product i hope you all love it hydras are some of the best knee pads on the entire paintball market as you guys know we've done videos on these things before they sell like hotcakes proven you've seen jd with the razor cutting these bad boys yep yep, yep. if you haven't look up the video it's there we got one more thing though the yeah. hydra pit bag joe what do we got going on over here okay so what we're doing here is to kind of showcase just how well the pit bag works. So these are good paintballs, there's nothing wrong with it. But sometimes you're in an event and it's oily, it's whatever, and, and you know, you just drop your paintballs in here, roll them around for a little bit, pour them out, pot them up, good to go. Sometimes there's broken paint. People ask like, how good does it really, truly work? So right now, Abby, if you don't mind stepping in here, smash some paintballs, just, just, just give them hell. Both feet, give me, I want oh, a lot of go. paint in there. You can step in there like Lucy on I Love Lucy. You're popping grapes. Make it nasty. Make it nasty. All right. Stir this up. That's that's garbage. That right? This is absolute garbage. Anybody else would throw that away. Not if you've got our Hydra pit bag. Uh, so you take your pit bag. You just throw your paintballs in there, and I'm picking the worst of the worst. JD, so that, that's it's, nasty, it's pretty man. damn nasty. Most people will be like, that's not gonna happen. It's out of here, it's no good anymore. But with our Hydra pit bag, these things, they just sop up the paint, they'll clean it up, they'll get it all back together. Absolutely, for oily paint or broken paint, if you don't wanna shoot it that day, you can save it, bring it home, clean it up, and use it the very next week. Um, so here's the thing, you just gotta roll it around a bit, you're kinda get. generally I would say go through, pick out the broken shells, uh, we're going to still have to do that in a second, but uh, you're just basically rubbing it around. And normally you have more paint in here, so it's easier because they're all together. And I just usually go like that, and I just sit here and, and roll it. You, if you ever watch Paintball Fit or Vibe in the Pits, you'll see Sarah and I doing this with all of our paint. We don't even mess around, even if the paint looks great, which generally GI paint looks fabulous. So, uh, but uh, take it like that there, and let's see what it does. Oh, wow. Well, besides the broken ones that are still in there. Those are did, clean. Those are actually really clean. Ones, which there's a lot of broken. Abby, you did a great job at all your broken balls. So like I said, you can see this already clean. Minus the only yellow that I'm seeing is from actual broken balls. That are, so let me get rid of them bad boys. I mean, but you can see from that bin from this to that. Right. And had I gotten rid of the broken balls first, 
they'd be ready to go in the gun to shoot people. Hundred percent. That's awesome, my man. And hey, then, JD, as always, you guys got some great products. I appreciate you, my you. man. Thank you. Shop Thank the you, best Tony. at slowmopaintball.com.